So to really get at what oil is, we have to first look at how it's distributed. And it's not just distributed in hot sunny deserts. Now there's a lot of strange theories about where oil comes from and where you can find oil. Um, one of the real giveaways is the fact that people can douse for oil very successfully and water. And there's a reason why they're successful. Now. The Russians, since the 1960s, have long been of the opinion that if you drill deep enough anywhere on the planet, you will find oil. And basically this was actually proven pretty well. At the end of the Vietnam War, the outgoing Americans decided they would try and, and look for oil in Vietnam, couldn't find any. The geologists all turned around and said, oh, this is not all bearing ground, it's not good for oil, blah, 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 all the rest of it, off go the Americans. Well, the Russians came along and they turned around and said, ah, it's rubbish, of course there'll be oil here, it's whether you're prepared to pay to drill deep enough. And they said to the Vietnamese, well, I'll tell you what, we will drill the wells and we won't charge you for the wells. But what we'll do is we'll take half of the oil. And the Vietnamese would rather have half of something than half of nothing. So they said to the Russians, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Now you have to bear in mind that at this time the average depth of um, an oil well was around about four or 5,000 feet. Um, Western drilling technology actually wasn't much good. Um, the Russians have always been the leaders in deep drilling. And these Russian wells that were drilled in Vietnam were between 19 and 22,000 feet deep, three or four times deeper than a regular oil well. And did they find oil? You bet they found oil. And Vietnam suddenly turned into a country that had its own oil reserves. Very handy for Vietnam. A bit embarrassing really for the United States. But hey, the Russians enjoyed it. Now what does this tell us? This tells us that the chances are that the Russians were right. And there are now oil wells that are drilled quite regularly that are seven miles or more deep. Mm. Seven miles, that's a heck of a long way down. Do you think there are any carboniferous forests or any actual fossils? seven miles down? No, there aren't. Um, in fact, if you sit down and work it out, uh, the Earth actually grows, and it grows by bombardment from outer space. And if you look at when uh, the Neolithic period was, which is 10,500 BC, that's 12,500 years ago, roughly, roughly. And Throughout the world, the settlement layer for the Neolithic that archaeologists find is just under a metre deep, 0.8 metres, and that's the average. Obviously, sometimes things happen, like earthquakes and landslides, but places which are geologically undisturbed, 0.8 metres is the depth. So you can think that the ground sinks by 0.8 metres every 12,500 years. So this means that seven miles, you're looking at something like 170 billion years ago. Yeah, well that would be before the Earth had cooled and coalesced because the Earth is supposed to be only about four or five billion years old. So there couldn't possibly be any form of life, fossils, or anything else around then. So where the hell does oil come from? Well, in 1990, some researchers at Kobe University who'd gotten a little bit suspicious about the fact that you always find methane and water along with oil, um, they actually proved that methane can be made 
from combining calcium carbonate or indeed any carbonate mineral which there is a lot of in the earth's crust and hydrogen which there is also a lot of in the earth's crust under extreme pressure and temperature and in fact they went a little bit further um, and they found out that yeah you could actually create methane from um, you know you could either have a very extreme temperature or a very extreme pressure and you'd still get methane and in fact if you have certain metals present, present at the time you can speed up the reaction which is what they eventually had to do in the lab to get it to run um, but they know that without the catalysts these reactions will happen anyway it's just that they'll take hundreds of years now this reaction produces calcium oxide well there's quite a lot of that in the ground it produces methane and it produces two times H2O two molecules of water surprise surprise so there's a lot of deep underground water how did it get there hydrogen calcium carbonate lots of pressure lots of heat over thousands of years and you get methane water and calcium oxide so this is where all the methane comes from but what about the oil well it turns out if you look at the molecular structure of oil which varies a little bit from place to place because obviously the underground conditions aren't quite the same and some places there's a lot of sulfur some places there's a lot of nitrogen and so on and so forth but generally the structure of oil is lots of methane molecules hooked together in a long chain polymerized methane in other words it's very difficult to get back to what the real structure of oil is because practically every single molecule is different which is another clue if it was a plant product or an animal product a lot of the molecules would probably be the same but it isn't this is being cooked up in a big random reactor underneath the ground and oil is being continuously produced now this is the big lie now I'm not a big fan of us using oil but the people who run this planet are not as dumb as they think we are <laughs> what do I mean by that well they've made everything dependent on oil and a lot of things agriculture power and so on dependent on oil if oil was a scarce resource and known to be a scarce resource they wouldn't have done that and in fact oil is not a scarce resource there is a limit to how fast we can extract it out of the ground before it goes away in that particular area but we know that empty oil wells after a period of a few decades fill up again and where does this oil come from it comes from deep underground doesn't come from a coal field sitting over the top doesn't come from squashed up dinosaurs doesn't come from plankton oh plankton is, 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 is probably the most rubbishy theory um, for the uh, seaborne oil deposits that there is because plankton um, I'm afraid there is no real oil in plankton you'd have to squash thousands of tons to get a teaspoonful um, so that's a bit of a non-starter but what plankton does is it produces the calcium carbonate that's one of the things that produces calcium carbonate there's a lot of others asteroids that smash into the earth have got calcium carbonate on um, it's all over the place so to sum up oil isn't a fossil fuel oil is never going to run out completely though there is a limit to how fast we can extract it the more wells we have over the bigger area obviously the more we can get out of the ground at any one time so I hope you found this interesting and something to think about and if you have please like please share please subscribe and do all those good things thanks very much bye